Hello, my dear young friends. How are you all? Happy to see all of you again. Yes, today I have some content which is of uh, very importance to you. The content is antonyms, synonyms and question tags. All these three items are definitely helpful to you uh, in many places. Definitely in the competitive exams, in your informal English also. Definitely it is going to be of a lot of help. I am Professor H.S. Krishna from Government First Grade College, Kargodi. I will be taking you through this session today. Have a great time. Yes, so these are the contents for this session today. Uh, you can get to know the various antonyms, synonyms and the question tags. And that will be followed by a few multiple choice questions so as to gauge your understanding. So now what are antonyms and synonyms? I have a very clear definition which is very simple to understand. Antonyms are words that mean the opposite of a given word. They are the opposites of the given word. You have examples like close, open, the opposite of close is open here and awake, asleep, arrogant, the opposite is humble, optimist, the opposite here is pessimist, amateur, the opposite here is professional and finally segregate, the opposite of which is integrate. So here, antonyms are the opposites of the given word. And synonyms, what are these synonyms? So synonyms are those words which have nearly the same meaning as another word. It is like they are having an equivalent meaning, almost equal to meaning. We have certain examples here. Happy also is being joyful. Close and shut meaning more or less similar. Abandon, discard, baffle, confuse. Affluent, plentiful. Affluent and plentiful are very good examples of the synonyms. Affluent generally refers to the rich class of people and plentiful also means that people who are rich should have sufficiently everything. And one more example of a synonym is imitate and copy. Imitate, when you are imitating a person's action, copying, whether you are copying in writing or reading or what else, it is having a similar meaning as imitate. Now going to the question tags. What are question tags and what is the necessity of question tags? So what we find is it's a very common practice that whenever you have a conversation with your friend you are little skeptical or doubtful as to your friend has understood it properly or not. Or you might even want some kind of a confirmation that what you are speaking is definitely right. Now we have an example here. There is an example, there is a sentence here, it's very hot. And now for confirmation, uh, a question tag has been added here. It's very hot. The question tag is, isn't it? Now, the latter part, 
the latter part isn't it is the latter part this is called a question tag so these question tags are attached to the main statement and their idea the purpose is they seek the confirmation or whether the answers are definite or not it is purely for confirmation that these question tags are added now question tags generally are used in spoken english and you will not find them in formal english you find question tags mostly in informal communication because here they are used to make a comment and to keep the conversation going to keep the communication flow now a few more things about question tag when you have to frame a tag you have to use the auxiliary of the given sentence auxiliary is very important component here and if there is no auxiliary in the given sentence then depending on the tense depending on the tense you have to use the words do does or did because you keep asking he hasn't come did he things like that if the statement is positive then the tag is negative this is a kind of a thumb rule if the statement is positive the tag is negative and the pattern for the positive statements the pattern for the positive statements you need to observe here the combination the formula auxiliary plus not plus the subject you have an example here he is studying and the question tag here is isn't he and with a negative statement you need to make a positive tag positive tag he is not studying this is a negative statement and you have a positive question tag which is is he is he is a positive question tag now the subject of the question tag is always a pronoun and never a noun because you cannot have the name of a person as king prema doesn't know seema does she we cannot put a pro and a noun we always have to put a pronoun in such cases when the subject of the question tag it is always a pronoun and definitely not a noun we don't repeat prema again does she that is understood that it is prema now quickly summarizing the contents of uh, today's session as all of you know antonyms are words that have opposite meanings of the given word and synonyms have the words which have more or less the same meaning as the given word and the question tags are generally attached to the main statements and they seek the confirmation confirmation and whether the answers are definite and to frame a question tag you need to use the auxiliary of the given sentence and if the statement is positive the tag is always negative and with the negative statement definitely the tag has to be positive and the subject of a question tag is always a pronoun and never never a noun it's now let us have a few questions so as to gauge the comprehension the learning of today's session now the very first question the antonym of arrogant the meaning the opposite meaning of arrogant is humble disarrogant or unarrogant the right answer for this the antonym of arrogant is humble 
the opposite meaning of arrogant. The next question is synonym of baffle. Synonyms are the words with similar meanings. So baffle, what is the word with similar meanings? It is confuse. Baffle and confuse have more or less similar meanings. The synonym of cop, the synonym of cop, synonym means similar meaning words. The synonym of cop is cap, cape or a policeman. Let's look at the right answer. It is policeman. Cop and policeman mean the same. He is studying. What kind of a question tag will you use here? Kindly observe that this is a positive statement. A positive statement definitely will have a negative question tag. So I've given you the clue there. Look at the right answer. He is studying. It is a positive statement. Now the negative question tag isn't he is the answer. She is not dancing. What kind of a question tag? Now you have a negative statement. She is not dancing. It is a negative statement. You need to have a positive question tag. So which of these is positive? She is not dancing. Now you need to have a positive question tag. Is she? This is the positive question tag which can be used for this question. And now for further references of this section, kindly go through your textbook illuminations and uh, click on this link and get more information on this uh, story also after 20 years by O. Henry and certain uh, portions of grammar also. Thank you my dear young friends for patiently listening. I hope uh, I've been able to do some justice to you. Thank you so much my dear young friends. Enjoy your learning. Have a great time.